I love to be an animal when the saints go marching in. Good evening. Welcome to Up Up, Down Down, Left Right, Amen. Really disappointed that that menu music does not repeat. Well, friends, tonight we continue through our Christian video game extravaganza with 1993's Bible Buffet, put out by Wisdom Tree. Now, Wisdom Tree, we played a lot of games from Wisdom Tree already, so I won't talk about them too much. They're, uh, they're a creator of illicit <laughs> Nintendo games because they didn't want to pay for actual licensing through Nintendo. So instead, they developed their own process and decided to start making Christian video games so that they wouldn't have to sell them in regular video game outlets. As regular video game outlets, video game stores, etc., didn't want to sell unlicensed Christian video games. But Christian bookstores didn't care. Because <laughs> why would they care about some video game company from heathen Japan? Anyway, Bible Buffet is a board game. Uh, that's really all I know about it, except that <laughs> with other with other Wisdom Tree games, like uh, we played a while back, we well our very first game on the project, we played Spiritual Warfare, one of my favorite Christian video games of all time, and Spiritual Warfare, which came out around the same time as this. Uh, had a in-game quiz system where it would ask you Bible trivia questions, true or false questions, multiple choice questions uh, about the Bible. And that was all built in. Uh, with Bible Buffet, none of that is built in. There is some sort of quiz function that we will encounter. But, uh, and I'm glad that I, I did enough research to learn this, uh, instead of the questions being internal, only the answers are programmed into the game. All of the questions come from a booklet that I have printed out. The original booklet would have been about this thick. It was 91 pages of questions uh, divided into different categories. The Bible Buffet Quiz Book. Oh, goodness. What do we got? Categories include Friends in the Bible, NOV, The Miracles of Jesus, NIV, Trust and Obey, KJV, Children in the Bible, NIV, Bible Terms, and Easter, NIV. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so all of the questions are in this book. So every time I encounter a question in the game, I will have to flip through this book uh, and figure out which question it's going to be asking me, and then I'll get to respond. Hooray. Um, <laughs> good times. Uh, as you can see from our title screen here, this is a game where we could have up to four players. There is only me. And unless you came from a very large family, there was probably always only you. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm not, I don't imagine this game had a lot of two, three, or four player sessions going on, but you know, it's, there are plenty of white Christian evangelical families and, and, you know, Catholic families who, uh, don't believe in birth control and so have way too many kids. Um, in my experience, those are usually more than four though, so Still fighting over the controller. But alas. Let's dive in. Bible Buffet. It's food themed, it seems. So, that's good. Which question category? Oh, interesting. Okay, so my booklet here... Um, Well, that's an... Okay. Hmm. I can change the category, but... It defaults to category 100. There is no category 100. There's category 103, 104, 
113, 14, 123, 204, 403, 404, at least in the booklet I have. Uh, and they are, I mean, it's the original, it's a scan. So <laughs> I don't know what happens if I pick one out that's not, that's not a listed category. Uh, but I won't. Um, let's see, what should we do? Uh, let's do, let's do the parables. I've had good luck with, with parable games in the last, uh, last few weeks. 463. Well, good. That'll mean I don't have to flip through the book, uh, as much, which is, which is a welcome bit of, (laughs) bit of relief. But uh, we start on page 52, so I can eliminate half of these printouts already. You're probably wondering, Adam, why'd you print these out? You're on a computer. You could have just looked at the PDF. This is terrible for the environment, right? Printing out all these sheets of paper. Well, here's the thing. What's the environment ever done for me? I'm coming for you, environment. And everyone's helping. Wait, no, that's bad. No, printing out all of these was a mistake. I actually didn't realize it was quite so long when I hit print. Um, Anyway. Uh, Yeah. 463. Player one. Well, my name is... What a terrible uh, input noise that is. Like an electronic fart. Here. Just in case, I don't want my my top score to be confused with any other atoms who might get on my get on my computer and play this. Player one. Okay, so as uh, as we can see here, we've got kind of a a Candyland setup. Well, <laughs> Candy-ish land. Uh, we got we got all the food groups represented. We've got Veggie Land, Potato Land, <laughs> Fast Food Land, Salad Land. Breadland, Pizza Land, Freezer Land, Barbecue Land, which is a shortcut between Pizza Land and Snack Land, uh, Liquid Land, Fruit Land, and Desert Dessert. <laughs> desert Land would be uh, off uh, off theme. Dessert Land. I can talk. Great. Fast Food Land is marketed by uh, marked by uh, by Silverware, which is interesting. Uh, Because that's one of the things that uh, fast food doesn't normally need. I guess Barbecue Land is a section. Pizza Land is orange. Barbecue Land is yellow. That shortcut is not its own land. Okay, now that I understand the map. And my little player character is uh, what appears to be a Sour Patch Kid. Exciting. (coughs) Player 1, Adam G. It's my turn. Press A to spin. I assume I move forward. With the numbers, one, six, five, three, two, four, more than likely. Red spaces show a smiley face, a frowny face, and a booklet. I assume booklet is for the questions. Uh, smiley face and frowny face, we'll find out if we're ever lucky enough to hit one. Nine choices. Cool. Let's spin to win. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. So I'm I'm attacking carrots. Uh, it looks like okay. This is very very much spiritual warfare. This is just the programming of spiritual warfare. Uh, except they are just bombs instead of God's breath or whatever. And the sentient carrots, I am not converting to Christianity. <clears throat> because carrots have no souls. Carrots can't be Christians. Not in the same way that... Well, carrots can't be Christians in the same way that... Uh, Forklift drivers can't be Christians, as we learned in Spiritual Warfare way back when. 
Okay, as I as I collect these carrots, I am gaining pounds of vegetables of food, I guess. Um, because that's my that's my point system. All right, I guess I go up. Oh, more carrots, more carrot. Okay, so I collect the empty carrot dead bodies, and I murder these other carrots. Kick them, and there's some some tomatoes. Ah, very Veggie Tales here. In that Veggie Tales also. Within within Veggie Tales, the veggies cannot be Christians. They can talk about Jesus, but they can't be saved themselves. I want that fork. Give me that fork. Got some broccoli. Okay, well, I guess I'm done if I can't get the fork. So, exit. Player one. Okay, well, that's, that's my turn. I don't know. Since I'm only playing one player, I don't know if I would have gotten an extra spin for... Getting that, or just not died? I don't know. Ooh, I landed on a free square. Spin again. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's great. That is. Some golden voice work here. All right. Well, I earned a key. I don't have any idea what that means. This is very Mario Party-ish, I guess. I spin, I move, I play a mini game. Oh, I got another key. What are the chances? One in nine. Um, yeah. Maybe, as revenge, since since whiz. Oh, pop quiz time. Okay, category 463, question 35. Still got to flip a few. All right, question 35. A blank saw him and passed on the other side. This is uh, referencing, oh, we do have the reference at the top of the page, Luke 10, 30 to 37, which is the story of the prodigal son. Uh, so I move around and I can select Pharisee, priest, or Levite. Ooh, so it's a... It could be Hersey or Levite, actually. Oh, well, 35 is also saw him, so whichever was the second one mentioned, uh, which I think is Levite, uh, but I don't actually know offhand, and I'm not going to look it up. A Samaritan saw him and had money, compassion, or grace. Compassion. Uh, 37, he bound his wounds. Put him on his own beast and took him to blank. A, his house. B, and in or C, Motel 6. Whew. All right. Uh, done. Hey. I got all three right, which means... I, I guess means I get to go again. Um, but does it really? Because who knows? I should have put a second player in here. All right. Oh, I got a health holder. Player one. Oh, now I move back a square. Player one. The random number generator feels a little bad to me. I wonder if there's a way to make my spin stop earlier. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, question's 38. Well, the other thing is, in spiritual warfare, the question just went in order from a master list uh, 
and there were like a thousand questions there too. So this one is also sort of going in order, but it started at a random point, which is interesting. Um, all right. 38. When the Samaritan left, he asked the innkeeper to blank for the man. Watch, look, or care. Well, the, the man is there, so he's not going to watch or look for the man, which mean the same thing. So, which was the blank to the man who fell among thieves? The enemy, the helper, or the neighbor? The whole parable, the Good Samaritan, is learning what it means to be a neighbor. And that everyone's your neighbor. Hello, neighbor. He that showed blank on him was his neighbor. He that showed grace, peace, or mercy. Well, grace just from syntax. <clears throat> oh, it was mercy. Mercy on him. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, let's let's get a heart. Why not? All right. All right. Player one. And we've been playing for, what, 10 minutes and we're still in Veggie Land? That's not great. Come on. Oh, no. It's nasty carrots. Oh, the tomatoes are coming alive. Oops. I have accidentally made this carrot run very fast. <laughs> really not doing great health-wise. I'm bad at this game. Oh no, pumpkins. Keep forgetting that I am immortal. I don't need to run away from the explosions. Explosions have no effect on me. So it's basically the same player character as Spiritual Warfare as well. Oh, what am I throwing? Lollipops? Hmm. Anyway, I'm basically the same character uh, model as, uh, as Spiritual Warfare, except in Spiritual Warfare he had a bow tie. Player one. Player one. Real lack of delightful music in this game. That's Great. sad. <gasps> I made it to Potato Land. Now I guess I will fight potatoes instead of vegetables because potatoes are not vegetables. Oh, and, and snakes. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, and french fries. Oh, I'm surrounded by french fries. There's all sorts of potatoes. Hmm. Well, easy enough. Time for a quiz. Oh, question one. 
based on Luke 5, 47 to 49. Blank comes to Jesus and hears his saying and does them will be this. Will be like this. Well, that's, you've set that up for two questions. Anyway, the blank. A Jew who, a Gentile who, whosoever. I don't really like that. Let's see, but I don't like that. This house's foundation will be established on sand, mud, or rock. Probably rock. The flood rose and the blank beat vehemently upon the house. The ocean, the wave, or the stream. I think it's the wave. This is the parable of the man who built the house upon the sand versus the rock. How it's a wise man who builds it upon a rock. A foolish man who builds it upon a sand. Let's go four. Does my health reset every time? No, it does not. All right, French fry. Uh, now they're throwing themselves against the potato peeler and producing mashed potatoes. Oh no. I'm really sad about the lack of music. The music is really just the best part of a wisdom tree game, and there's none here. That is very sad. Player one. Anyway, since Wisdom Tree made no license video games for Nintendo, I assume that Nintendo just right. ripped off this one to make Mario Paint. Right? Probably? Alright, same story. The stream could not blank it for was founded on... Not blank it, for it was founded on the rock. Oh, goodness. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, A, erode, destroy, or C, shake. It's uh, destroy. Um, five. He that blank and does do it and doesn't do it like a man without a foundation. Uh, a sees, B teaches, C hears. He that hears and doesn't do it is like a man without foundation. Okay, sure. Why not? Six. That house is built upon mud, earth, or rock. Ah, must have been mud or earth. I don't know. It's sand. All right. Why do I still get a bonus? Player one. I only got one right. Anyway, um. Three. Weird that these questions come in sets of three when there's the number of questions in each section is not divisible by three. <laughs> what am I collecting now? Olives. I'm fighting some sort of exploding egg. Oh. Player one. I didn't finish the square yet. Oh, okay. So if I don't finish it, I just have to replay. Interesting. I got so much food. Alright, well, I guess 
We're not gonna collect all the vegetables. Cause that's painful. Oh, it's very fast. I don't like how fast that is. I can get those two more though. Player one. Yeah, I don't have to collect everything. Easy enough. It's a very long board. There. It's going to be just just as long as a terrible game of Mario Party. Stay off. Oh, now a cup of coffee is attacking me? What are these enemies, even? I don't like that they just spawn. That's mean. And I'm collecting corn dogs. Getting attacked by cappuccino, and I'm collecting corn dogs. This is... Very... Very Midwestern Evangelical. All right. Well, I have so far collected 300 and what, 78 was it pounds of food. I hope I can donate that to a pantry or oh, give it to a homeless person. Oh, we're in fast food land. We're out of. We made it out of salad land with the knife and fork. Now we got tacos and our enemies are pickles. I'm a cucumber. 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 Please don't take me to the pickle farm. Yeah. I sang that just in case they're cucumbers and not pickles. I don't want to anger the video game things. Oh, I can shoot through the tacos. Excellent. Player one. Player one. So unlike the other Wisdom Tree games, uh, for the regular Nintendo at least, I never played this one. I never even heard of this one. And it's pretty clear why. This is not exciting. Uh, mostly because of the lack of a soundtrack. But also, I haven't gotten to throw fruit at the devil to make his head explode. Free spin. It's always my turn. So they're all free spins. Two. Good luck. What is, what is happening? Okay, I can move the dollar bills. Oh. Okay, now the taco's an enemy. Well, that's... What is going on? Okay, this one is... Uh, not intuitive. Yes, any food that moves, I must murder. Any food that stays stationary, I must eat. These are the rules. 
If only that was in the giant booklet instead of a series of questions. They're poorly framed and poorly syntaxed. All right, there, that's, I have ordered everything. Now it is time to throw sticks. Okay, now what? Oh, I, I always could have left. Player is that, one. This little little man in a suit? What was attacking me there? All right, I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm not done. Cause oh, I can't go back. Angel, they they fall into eggs. Oh, they're just folded up, sunny side up eggs. But I can't get that one because I'm I can't leave the grass or I can't step on the grass. All right. Anyway, I'm Player done. One. Okay, so you've got to intuit the rules of each of these Five. levels, too. Great. Yeah, I'm going to die again. These ones are... Okay. Oh, they're coffees. Okay. What is that building? Am I trying to get to church? Is that is that what's happening here? Player one. It's the worst wisdom tree game we've played. Six. Now I'm in breadland. Hooray, bread. Oh, well, that's okay. At least the enemies are flower. At least the level design got interesting, kind of. I think I'm collecting croissants. What is this thing throwing knives? Throwing knives? Yes, throwing knives. A bagel? Yes, it could be a donut. Can I get that? Oh, okay, they're throwing knives back and forth. <laughs> I, f I forgot what button shot. Oh man, I can't wait to get to Liquid Land. Disappointed that the questions are not themed by Bible verses about the type of food that I'm... Plenty of... Plenty of Bible verses about bread. that time Jesus declared himself to be bread. I made it. Player one. Two. I wonder if this existed as the Candyland board game. Those churros? Nice. Love churros. Anyway, uh, knowing... Knowing Wisdom Tree's style, it wouldn't surprise me if this 
existed as the weird bread game. The food board game. Before they decided to Christianize it. But I don't know, because it is... It's got so much of the same DNA as spiritual warfare that... Maybe not. Though I don't know if spiritual warfare had a non-Christian predecessor either. Only occasionally did they reskin their own games. Mostly they were ripoffs of, of outside games. Uh, I hadn't even noticed our little Einstein fellow who's asking me these questions. And that Marine was Einstein. Category 463, questions 7, 8, and 9. Oh, okay. So we jump we jump Bible passages in this one. 7 and 8 are still about uh, the house on the rock and sand. The stream beat vehemently, and blank, the house fell. Soon. Probably. 8. The blank of the house was great. Flimsiness? Ruin? Foundation. Probably foundation? I, I don't know. Without a reverence to which verse it's talking about, I'd have to go and read the passage in King James in order to get these word-for-word -word questions, and I'm not really interested in doing that. Plus, I don't appreciate a game that gives me an extra booklet and then wants me to have another extra book as, as the answer guide. Uh, anyway... Luke seven forty one to forty seven. These questions are based off of a certain creditor had two debtors. One owed five hundred pence, and the other, it's fifty. Oh, we talked about this on the interactive parables the uh, the other week. I'm not doing too hot right. with with hearts. Maybe I should get another heart. Player one. Still don't know what keys do for me though. So might be. Might behoove me to collect Two. keys. Um, um, pizza. Oh, what's happening? Okay, the actual slices look more like Doritos than slices of pizza. I can push the ladles out of the way collect things. Can I push these boxes? I cannot. Ah, I see. The pizzas come out of the boxes. I got over 2,000 pounds of food now. Wow. How am I still standing? Where am I carrying it? Two. So many questions. Speaking of questions. All right. All right, question 10. When they had nothing to pay, he forgave. We well, forgave both. Both one or none. Which debtor will blank him most? Which will love him most? The one who had a smaller debt forgiven or the one who had a larger debt forgiven? That's the, that's the passage. Simon answered, to him who he blanked the most. Forgave, loved, or hated? It's just the way these are formatted. It's just, it's, it doesn't really make sense contextually between themselves. I mean, they've got to ask them in order, otherwise they don't make sense. They kind of build, but they don't All even right. really build well unless you're Player one. actively reading the passage, which I guess is what the game wants me to do. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Even for a, for a Wisdom Tree game. The Wisdom Tree All games right. are usually barely, barely Christianized. They're just Bible trivia questions. But this is some sort of proto One. version of that, even. Is it proto? I don't even know if it's proto, actually. It may not. I don't know what the timing is. Let's 
I still don't know what I'm throwing. Spoon? Am I throwing a spoon? That, that doesn't really make sense. Oh, I can't seem to kill that pizza. I've never met a pizza I couldn't kill. Look at me. You know that. Looks like I might be at maximum health. Am I halfway? I'm about halfway, right? Two. Hey, hey! Almost into barbecue land. One. Not there yet, though. Make me do one more pizza. Grr. Why did that? Be, why is that pizza shooting at me? It's when good pizzas shoot. They can move and shoot. You're just being mean. I don't like that at all. I'm getting out of here. I'm done with the firing pizza. That's mean. Frequently changing the rules on me. Bible buffet. Six. Player one. Ooh, the steaks are five pounds of food. It's a heavy steak. I don't think a five pound steak that's a it's a death sentence a five pound steak is. Why would you do that to yourself? Are these cans of cola that go along with my barbecue? Cola. It's a Christian video game. Player one. Six. Oh, I wanted a one. At least we're out of barbecue land. And into freezer land. How exciting. It's up here. I can't push this, so. Excellent. Ice puzzle. Always love an ice puzzle. Nope. 
I guess I don't really need them, but still. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I could have done that. I definitely know why I haven't experienced this game before. No one, no one I know would have held on to this. I wonder what its sales numbers were. All right, 463, number 13. Jesus replied, you have judged fairly, wrongly, or rightly. Uh, rightly. 14, her blank, which are many, are forgiven. Her sins... One of the other questions have even referenced the the woman of ill repute in this story who is bathing Jesus' feet with her hair, well, with her tears, bathing them with her tears, drying them with her hair. To whom little is forgiven, the same loveth, worketh, or preacheth little. Loveth. Forgive a lot, love a lot. Player one. Player one. Just not an exciting game at all. Five. I don't know. I don't know what. the H's are. Question 16, 17, 18. There we go. A blank went out to sow his seed. A laborer, a sower, or a plumber. All famous for sowing their seeds. Some fell by the wayside, and the blank of the air devoured it. Ravens, vultures, or fowls. I think probably fowls in the King James. I don't know though. Some fell on the blank and it withered because it lacked moisture. Soil, rock, or desert. Rock there. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Player one. I'm not getting rewards anymore. At least I finally found out what the keys were for. Could have rolled higher. Oh, I can't ride the sled. I don't like whatever that spiky thing is. Oh no! Oh no! The fan blows me into this bike. Player 
Excellent. Great to know. All right, so don't try to cross while the fan's spinning. Good to know. I'm just leaving. Player one. I'm gonna win. I have the most points out of all the players. I don't need to collect any extra stuff. Oh, well, now we're now we're in Snackland. Oh, Snackland is kiwis. Kiwis, and I'm fighting soda pops. That's right, I said soda pop. What? Goombas? Oh dear. I don't know what those guys are, but I can't... I must have to blow them up. Maybe. I don't know. Some enemies just seem to be undamageable, and that's annoying. I wonder if there's more powerful weapons I could have picked up sometime along the way. Well, I wonder if I hit select, I could switch weapons, maybe. Maybe that's what the things I picked up behind the... Yep, turns out I've been throwing spoons, but I also have forks. Well, the forks aren't damaging that sh that candy, though. All right, get out of here. I don't like this level. This level's bad. Okay, so I can blow up the candy. Get myself a heart. Player one. Get out of candy land. Snack land. Sorry. Not candy land. Don't want to uh don't want to step on anyone's copyright. Hey, a key. Player I already have Eight keys, I think. Seven, maybe? Who knows? I've only used one the whole game. Over That's what I want. Alright, so I'm into Liquid Land, but I was already fighting Cappuccinos in early levels. Yep. There we go. Now I know how to play this game. Is there a duck? Player one. Taking me an hour to play this game alone. Imagine if we had four players. <sighs> Fruitland. Oh, this one's a forest. There we go. I guess the first one was a farm. Hmm. Player one. Yeah, put me back in. Is there any difference between... Ah, okay. Forks are like 
the grapes. Yeah. And the knives go through everything. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's very, very spiritual warfare programming. All the same stuff. So grapes, uh, the forks are like the grapes in that they spread left and right. I don't know why that was happening. So in spiritual warfare, you collect a different fruit uh, of the spirit, but you, you threw it at sinners. Uh, it was a great game. <laughs> Beautiful game. Love the game. Anyway, uh, so in this game, we've got our spoons. Oh, I'm wasting my barrels. We've got our spoons, which are like the apple in spiritual warfare. They go a little bit. Uh, they don't go through things, uh, but they're, they're standard. We've got forks that act like the grapes in spiritual warfare. One goes straight, one goes left, one goes right, back and forth. And then we have knives, which just fly as far. And then the number is how many you can have out on the screen at once. Savvy? Player one. And I guess I have been collecting them. I just hadn't realized I've been collecting them until I'm almost done with the game. Well, hopefully almost done. I suppose I could start rolling really poorly and go all the way back to the start. I shouldn't I shouldn't say things like that. I'll jinx myself. All right. So we're still in the parable of the sower. Some fell on thorns and the thorns blanket. Cut, choked, or hurt. Corner the thorns choked it. Some fell on good blank, and it brought forth fruit and a hundredfold. Some fell on good ground, fields, or acreage. I believe it'll be grounds. 21. The seed is the blank of God. Word, will, or mind. It's will. No, it's word. Hey, I win. Player one. Lose my turn. Player one. Oh, it's my turn. Three. Almost to dessert land. The greatest land of them all. Pop quiz! Oh, I'm on a new page. 22. The blank takes the word out of their hearts. The devil, the wind, or the sower. don't I don't know what what verse that's referencing he does that lest they should believe and be saved I guess it's the devil that doesn't seem right uh Luke 8 we're gonna look that one up because I think we're I think we're we're putting some interpretive lens onto this one in a way I find weird all right, Luke 8, 5 to 17. All right. The seed that fell among the thorns stands for those who bear, those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and the pleasures that do not mature. Oh, yes, this is the one 
one of the few times Jesus actually explains the parable. So this is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear, and the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart so that he may not believe and be saved. The devil is mentioned. It's in the NIV, at least. Interesting. I didn't remember the, the devil being mentioned in that passage. Uh, anyway, whatever. Um, 23. He does this lest they should hear and be saved. We just read that part. 24. Those on the rock believe but fall away in the time of joy, prosperity, or temptation. Temptation, no doubt. Oh. <laughs> one. oh, I just clicked the wrong one. Uh, I read the verse and then still got it wrong. Oops. Four. Four. Hey, hey, dessert land. So close. Sweet relief of being done with this game. If I was ever in a church that was... Oh no. Player one. Oh no. I'm out of I'm out of explosives. Okay. We'll take the hit, we'll make it through. Just be Player done with that. One. I could imagine a Sunday school teacher using this, but I've never gone to a church that would afford to put Four. a Nintendo in a Sunday school classroom. It's a foreign concept to me. But I suppose it's probably not a foreign concept to everyone. So there are certainly churches with more money than the ones I grew up in. Oh, man. See, I do still have... There we go. Got some explosives. I guess I didn't even try to shoot any of those eclair things, did I? All right. I wonder if I have to roll exact to win. Keep asking bad questions. Hey! I made it! Almost exactly an hour. And now for the awards! I got the award for the most pop quiz stars. I got the award for the first to finish. The food totals go. Oh, I definitely got the award for the most food. 340, 3,471 pounds. This is version six. All right, well, love to be. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this music because it's the only music in the game. There we go. Well, uh, even by Wisdom Tree standards, that was not very Bible game. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a board game uh, with uh, mini games, adventure game, action adventure thing going on there, too. Collect weapons. I mean, all of the all of the mini game bits are just spiritual warfare reskinned. Um, so I guess it's since it's spiritual warfare reskinned, and spiritual warfare is just Zelda one reskinned. I guess the mini game bits are 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 Zelda esque. Um, but yeah, just Candyland with a weird adventure game underneath it. Uh, the fact that you could play four players, you play, uh, well, the regular Nintendo only had two controller ports, so you'd have to, but there's no, yeah, there's no reason, and it announces who's player, so you probably just play on one controller and pass it back and forth, um, which makes sense, I guess, yeah. Like I said, I don't imagine a situation where four people would sit down to play this, but considering it took an hour for me to play it by myself... Uh, four people would take also at least four hours, right? That's how that would have to work. Uh, well, I guess you only need to get one person to win, so it could theoretically only take three hours, maybe. 
who knows? Anyway, that math doesn't work out. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just making things up. Um, but yeah, so I printed out this big booklet. So I'm gonna have to convince some people to play this at a holiday party or something, so that I can justify the 40 pages of printer paper I've wasted on this. Oh man. Goodness. Real, uh, real weird set of questions. Just Bible terms. <laughs> Alabaster is a type of blank, oil, metal, or stone. Threshing separates the wheat from the shaft, true or false. Cherubim are a type of soldier, angel, or priest. The list of family ancestors were called the archives, true or false. The people who were not of chosen people. The people who were not of the chosen people were called outsiders, foreigners, or gentiles. Gluttons are people who blank too much. Well, there's a. It's definitely a game about gluttony, isn't it? I ate three thousand pounds of food during this game. Ah, all right. Well, Bible buffet, bit of a bust. Um, not. Uh, I mean, it functioned all right, I guess, uh, for what it was. It just what it was was not all that great. It's kind of a boring game. Uh, but I find most digital board games, roll and move, Mario Party-esque things to be pretty boring. Uh, and this one's especially boring. At least Mario Party on the mini games, everybody plays together. This one, uh, every, you'd, you're essentially four people playing individually. You're all using the same <laughs> controller. You're passing it around. Uh, you're more than likely not playing the same levels, so there's that, but it's still a race to the end. Presumably it ends, well, I suppose it probably would, if you get bonus points for being the first to the end, then maybe it doesn't end until everybody gets to the end. Who knows? I should have played with two players. We would have been here for two hours. I should not have played with two players. That would have been terrible. I don't want to do that. It's not fun enough to try it again. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Up, Up, Down, Down, Left, Right. Amen. I'm Adam Glass. There's another Christian video game in the books. Gameplay's fine. Theology is just, just trivia questions. It's Yeah, there was no interpretation whatsoever. So, <laughs> it is what it is. At least... At least with the other Wisdom Tree games, there were interpretation issues, and I had something to play off of. This was just literally, what does the Bible in this English translation say? Uh, yeah, it is whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for another one. Uh, yeah, have fun. Bye.